Hi guys, welcome back. I uh, haven't had much time to do a video over the last month or two. Um, I just got back from vacation after I did quite a bit of work on the city, so I wanted to give a quick update of what it looks like. Most of the work has come in the modular section, and then the uh, the mountain right there in the background. Plus, I don't think I've made a video since I've changed the backdrop from the city look to the clouds, which I just think works a lot better, especially if I was going to put a mountain behind the stuff. Um, it would make more sense to have clouds back there. Uh, right now, I'm taking a step back also so you can see the overall layout, how the train goes around, and kind of what the rest of the basement looks like. Alright, so we're going to take a look at the upper row. So this is where uh, a majority of the, the modular buildings are. If you want to see interiors of them, um, you can look at some of my older videos where I go into greater depth. Today's video is going to be relatively short. I just wanted to give a quick update on what, uh, what I've been doing, especially in this section where I've moved the brown cliffs around, changed the backdrop, and then uh, added the mountain that you're going to see here in a second. Right there is a museum modular, which I'm really proud of. I thought it came out really, really well. And then here in a second, you'll see a, uh, an office building being built with the construction going on. And then there's the mountain where it used to be a forest. Now I've changed it up with the mountain. You can see a couple mountain climbers up there and then the waterfall. All right, now we'll take a look at the lower level modulars. There you're uh, Thanos about to do battle with Black Panther, Winter Soldier. There's a Ant-Man micro figure, so you can't see him behind him. There's Iron Man and Scarlet Spider swooping in. Uh, under or between the two buildings, there's a tunnel where the train can go in. It goes underneath all of the upper level modulars, goes over to the amusement park, comes back around. Um, so what you're looking at right now, there's actually train tracks underneath this part of the city. And then another look at some of the stuff back at the upper level before we get to the even lower level separated by the brown cliffs. And now we'll go down to the lowest level where I took the old fishing shop and then extended the dock out over the water for fishing. And then... Um, my beach here that's right next to the water. The water, those are blue plates that are actually on the floor of my basement. That way I can walk on top of the water and around to get to everything in the back. So this isn't on all tables. There's the train track I mentioned earlier. Sorry about the, uh, the unsteady camera and everything, but like I said, this is me walking on top of the water. So I have, um the neighborhood part behind me so I got to make sure that I'm not stepping on that stuff on the opposite side of the beach here is a dog park and then you can see how that goes over to where the waterfall is now we'll just take a step back and take one last look at this half of the basement um, so this is the right side essentially on the left side would be where the amusement park is so we start over here with the farm where I added a UFO in the cornfield there are three Spider-Man bridges, bridges combined together that will take the train track, um, take it from the neighborhood to the amusement park. Uh, right next to the Simpsons house to the left is some space that I need to either add a house or two there to finish out that uh, the neighborhood housing area. Far right-hand corner is uh, Ewok Village, the mountain right next to it. And then lastly, one final look at all of the modulars. Alright, thanks a lot, and I hope I'll see you guys soon.